Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eor, and this is Genius of Sapphire's Weekend. Alright, I moved some equipment around, and um, I went ahead and got Alice's group, uh, group B, to uh, this point here. Uh, something to note about this particular spot before the boss is you can actually change your equipment here, which I did not know that. So, I can change my gear, um, not much to say, at least not for this group, I don't think. Oh, and I can access both. I can access both groups' inventory from here. Okay, I don't have to have both of them there. All right, so I guess I'll go over the gear real quick. Um, not much to show for Alice. I think I gave her some resistance, and that's about it. Um, Remu, I gave some evasion just because. Nittery, I didn't do anything with Nittery. Come to think of it, is there anything I can give you? I can give you strength. Yeah, sorry, Nittery, I kind of left you out. That's fine. Um, Patchouli now has the sunflower dress, which uh, Satori was wearing, uh, and I gave her the plus 28 magic attack item. Sine, I didn't change anything for her, I don't think. Nope. Uh, Marissa, I gave nothing. Biakarin, I went ahead and she was wandering around with nothing on except for like the uh, the the rabbit foot thing, which I took off. Um, I have her equipped with both the squall hairpins, so that's plus 45 speed, and then I gave her some defense with vitality. Um, I don't think she really needs the speed, but this is just thinking to make sure she gets her buffs off first, which I'll need to change those around too. Uh, Moko, I gave her the the improved version of the resistance item, so she has plus 20 resistance. Sakia I gave both the attack items to her, so, well, so she has plus 30 attack, and I also gave her the headshot, the improved headshot goggles, so she has plus 30 accuracy. I also gave her the marmot eater, so she has a better dagger that can cause poison and damages beast. I completely forgot to check the creature types for the bosses, but that's not going to be that important. Uh, unfortunately, I still have no internet, so I can't exactly go to the wiki site. So what I did was I went to my one of my saves that are way farther ahead and uh, just looked up the uh, the uh, encyclopedia, which did, only told me a little bit. It actually, it actually tells you quite a bit. It's but uh, it's it's not really that important for these particular bosses. Why do you have seven lives? Oh, that's because these people haven't gone to a save point yet. Uh, let's see, I gave her plus 15 accuracy, Yomu. Uh, Satori is now equipped with the Eternal Robe. She's also got the improved uh, launch earring, so she now has plus 45 induction total. I went ahead and gave the rabbit's paw to Aya, because she's not going to be doing anything. And I think that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, Alice here. I'm going to go ahead and put her on the button. I could go to the boss right now. All I would do is just take this this uh, group out of the, uh, the picture for, until I can get the other group uh, to their boss. So I'm just going to leave her on the button so I can get this checkpoint. Alright, let's go ahead and select. And let's continue. I already went in here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Alright, everything's good. Let's go. I actually screwed up the groups uh, before I started this video. I, for some reason, had Moko in this group for some odd reason. Alright, so Tori level, level 32. There should be a bunny somewhere. There you are. Since we use practically nothing but physical attacks, we haven't, we're haven't we not really too worried about resources. I was a little worried about lives in the beginning, because I kept dying from instant deaths from vorpal bunnies, but you almost gotten hurt, like, you get extra lives randomly, so I think we kind of evened out. Uh, we got some steel, nothing good there. Well, it's not to say it's not good, It's it, it, it made the armor I'm wearing, so... Okay. I haven't gone this way yet. I'm gonna wait. Okay, this is the route we've been. We can go this way. Alright, blade dragon thing. Poisoned! 
Ooh, and some armor. Lunar mail. Alright, let's take a look. Lunar mail. Heavy armor only equipable by warriors. 87 defense and gives slashing and striking resistance. So what I could do is just go to her and give her the lunar mail. There you go. Anyone else need it? You're good. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so switch back. So now I can equip stuff, even while I'm in the split far party thing. Oh, who's... Uh, Yakshas. I believe they have like a multi-target attack, like Samagari Slash or something like that, and I think a few other moves. Other than that, I don't remember too much about them. Also, I don't know what that classification is for that uh, icon, so I don't know what creature type it is. Some death on a tatami mat. Actually, that's not a tatami mat. I don't know what it's called. Smite. Missed. Oh, and they attack twice. Oh, good job, back Piakarin. Some death. I have yet to see how much damage that poison does. It'd be nice to see it. Okay, this is a dead end. And double Vorpal Bunnies. Let's go ahead and uh, mind blast you guys. Could be a jerk and give all my induction items to uh, Yomu and uh, Sakia, and make them even more insane with their instant death attacks, but it's not that important. Magic Shard, item for Pacholi. And more of these guys. I'm not gonna risk taking deaths right now, so. That plus 30 induction is definitely helping. Alright. That's done. Next. Oh yeah, I can't go this way. Let's backtrack. I'm curious about this spot. I've been ignoring it over and over again, so let's just go in. to awesome. More blade dragons. Double hit again. Nice. Nothing here. Horrible bunny. Uh, since I have that dagger, I'm doing Slayer against Beast, which that's what Vorpal Bunnies are. It's actually a weird looking dagger, it's a hook. Smite, great confusion, great confusion. It probably would do a lot more damage, except for the fact that uh, I have really, really good armor, so... Even my frontline uh, attackers have uh, decent armor now. Which is definitely a rarity. Okay, Moko leveled. So she's level 30 now. Okay, this just connected everything. Not a big deal. You go down here, fight a bunny, fight a bazillion fish. Oh yeah, I, need I still need to update my sheet to show that I have learned Cold Breath. And Acid Storm, awesome. Poor Biakarin. That's good, okay, so that's two less moves I have to worry about later. And we barely li live through that, okay. Yeah, one Cold Breath by itself doesn't do much, but, you know, four of them. I'll go ahead and show off the, uh, the moves I picked up. There's Acid Storm, that's uh, water, elements, multi-target, damages and reduces physical defense. And Cold Breath is just like the other ones except fire, it's just, it's it's water, partially ignores defense, affected by HP. 
Sewing needle. Wow, an entire house worth of walls. And a whole lot of zero damage. I might be a little overleveled, but I think it's mostly gear that's uh, making a difference at this point. Because levels, like I said, don't make too serious of a difference as far as stats are concerned. It's all about having the right gear at the right time. And we kind of got the right gear with the uh, 150 defense armor. If I can just get a few more shards, if I can get like a uh, fire shard or two water shards, I can make another armor. And that'll be awesome. But I'm not holding my breath. I tried farming for them, but I didn't have any luck. I was lucky enough to get the electric shard from a drop. Cause you need four to make the army, because you have to make the crystal and all that fun stuff. Eventually things like crystals will start dropping instead of shards, but that's uh, later in the game. Paralyzed everything except the, the wall. I was just seeing what the beast icon looks like. Okay, it's a lion's head. And that's a reptile. Okay. I always get a lot of the uh, icons mixed up. The, a lot of them are kind of self-explanatory, but some of them aren't. We checked here, didn't we? No, we did not. Oh, side path. That leads nowhere? Oh, it leads down here. Oh, I see. That's kind of neat. So if I go down here, I can find absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, what we can do is go down here. Nothing. Oh, I know this spot. <laughs> yeah, this repeats on and on. Um, usually you don't have to worry about this because, well... Well, it used to be a problem because you didn't have a mini-map, so you didn't know it was repeating. Well, actually, it's pretty easy to figure out, but... If you're wondering what I'm doing, keep wondering, because I have no idea. And I got back to the beginning. Well, that was kind of pointless. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, getting mixed up on my directions, alright. There we go. Now we go this way. Then this way. So there's a bunny over here that I didn't kill, so let's kill that. Yeah, I didn't bother paralyzing. Okay, it does 140 poison damage, which isn't too bad. Alright, so that's all done. We hadn't checked this spot, so let's check this spot and fight a bunch of these guys. Mr. Death. And double strike, awesome. Okay, 
Okay, there's a chest right here in the middle that's kind of hidden by the, the, uh, the little curtain here. Bracelet, bracelet of Reflection 2, I believe that's a uh, M Defense. Yeah, plus 20 M Defense. Okay, so we got that done. So what we want to do now is go down here. Take the bath here, go down here. Fight a bunny. A little bit durable, but not a problem. Now the question is, which path did I take originally? Okay, that's right, it doesn't matter. Because the other one was a dead end. Okay, so we head down here. And we're doing this again. So we got ourselves another path here. Okay, that leads there. That leads there. there. That one's there. That led me here. And I hit the dead end again. So, bottom left. Bad idea. Got it. Well, good news is there's no monsters in the way. Bad news is, is we gotta do this every freaking time. I don't remember having so much trouble with this, but I honestly don't remember the trick to it. Honestly, the fact that there is a map now it kind of th is actually kind of throwing me off. I kind of just did whatever when I was uh, when I originally did this stuff, and eventually I got through. Also, I think there's a secret as well. Just making sure there's nothing on the walls. Okay. Down. Up. Down. Down. Up. Down. Okay, so not bottom left. So bottom right. Okay, it leads me to there. Left, nope. Bottom left. Leads me to there. Leads me to there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you see these rows of dots on my map. Uh, the second row, far left, is the one you want to get to to get to this room. And it leads to here. Which, if you hit this switch... It does something. Oh, it takes me to this room. So if I turn it back on, it takes me to this room. And if I take this path, it leads me back here. Okay, so what you're trying to do is get to the second dot to, from the left on the bottom row to get to this room. Then you turn on the switch, leads you to this room. Now both of us are, uh, Alice's, or, Alice's group is already on the switch. Step on the switch, both sides now have both switches. So we can save. And there you go. Alright. And if you take the portal, it takes me to, yeah, it takes them, it takes them to their individual um, little portals that they can take. All right, I think we're all ready. There's not much I need to worry about for this group, I don't think. Oh, yeah, actually there are. Let's see, increase induction. No, we don't want that. We want. Uh, the bosses have no elemental weaknesses. Uh, one of them is strong against uh, light, and the other is strong against dark. But other than that, nothing to worry about. So what we want is... 
Okay, perfect resistance is bad. What we really want, though, is Weapon Bless. And we'll give that to our group. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and get uh, Spell Enhance as well. And that should be good. And my other group... You should be fine. Yeah, you're good. Uh, you sh Yeah, it doesn't really matter for you. Zero Couple Buster. Need some single target spells, so Ice Falchion will be good. Here's just water damage. key thing for this group though, um, for this particular, for the group, the boss they are going to be fighting, um, you definitely want evasion. So evasion up is definitely a key thing. Uh, anything else I can do? Not with this group, unfortunately. Okay. So... The goal has been reached, switching to other party. So it switches to the other party. And in we go. La di da di da. A cute little dance. Oh, I see a bamboo flower. Finding such a rare thing so luckily again today. Something good's gonna happen for sure. I wonder. It may be something bad happening instead. Oh, visitors to the courtyard. Did you all come to play with me? We don't have time for that. We have business with Kaguya, so let us through. With the princess? Oh, right. I'm on guard duty. And I found some tr trespassers. You'll be dealt with at once. Maya, do you think you can win uh, against this many people alone? I'm feeling lucky today. I'm not going to lose. I see. But that fortune of yours will crush it into bits. That's a really messed up translation. Fine, I'll give you all a taste of the lim limitless amount of fortune inside me. Alright, we are fighting Tiwi. Alright, the thing about Tiwi, she hits like a freaking bus, and I should have uh, changed my formation. That's fine, I can live with this. So, Alright, we're going to do Horai Doll, so she can taunt more. Um, I want to say she's form I think she's strong against darkness, to be honest. So I'll give this a shot. If, if it doesn't work out, that's fine. Um, we'll do zero Kelvin. Well, actually... Yeah, go ahead and do zero Kelvin. We'll go ahead and do Arctic Chill. And we want Evasion. Now the thing about Tiwi is, like I said, she hits like a freaking truck. She'll one-shot you easily with that hammer of hers. But her accuracy is awful. She'll miss a lot. So the key here is to increase your evasion and lower her accuracy. Unfortunately, I didn't bring uh, Byakran or um, Satori, so I can't do any debuffs like that. But I can buff my evasion, so let's do that. Evasion up. Alright, all. Decoy. And. Oops, sleep. That's annoying. 333. Okay, that's not too bad. The annoying part is I got slept, but that's fine. I can live with that. I'm now the taunt ability is a buff, so it stays on the entire time. Physical damage reduced. Yeah, this formation doesn't work well with this uh, ability, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just focus on reducing physical damage. I'll do that. As for you, let me go ahead and increase water element, just because I can. Yeah, as you see, that did 126 damage. Oh, concentrate, that's not good. Alright, what I'm going to do is make it so everyone gets protected. I'm going to do Ofuda of Healing on her attack. 
Actually, you can go ahead and do Freeze Chaser. And then I'll do Ice Falchion. And we'll go ahead and increase our defenses. Another good spell to know is to um, have uh, Sune no resurrection just in case. Ancient Duper. Missed. There we go. Uh, the boss ha these both bosses have 10,000 HP if I hadn't said or so already. But yeah, that Ancient Duper ability could have killed everybody if it hit. The good news is I increased everyone's evasion. Anything else we need to worry about? I'm gonna go ahead and cover Sine just in case. Zero Kelvin. Yeah, the reason I buffed up uh, Water Element is because Nidori's uh, single target ability is Water. So just to boost the damage of it. It's not that important though. I'm gonna go ahead and boost everyone's physical attack. The fight's missed. There we go. Okay, she's concentrating again. Go ahead and cover everyone, just in case. Eh, fancy heaven, why not? And it doesn't look like I have much else. I could have, I probably should have took the uh, increased magic to, uh, that magic attack buff as well, but I completely forgot to do so. Not a big deal though. Go ahead and just heal Alice just in case. Thousand damage. Fourteen hundred. Missed. Yeah. Okay, decoy wore off. Let's go ahead and reapply it. Go ahead and do Fantasy Heaven again. And actually, this battle's over, so. Whatever. We'll finish it off with a bang. Okay, you don't get very much power from uh, beating these bosses, so it's not really worth farming them. To be honest. Yeah, these aren't worth farming. Alright, Marissa learned Extreme Heat, which is just like that Ice Spell, Frostbite, or whatever it's called. It's single target, very expensive, has high cooldown. Boon. I knew you were up to no good. I was feeling really lucky. Why did I lose? You didn't know? Your pow power brings luck to those around you, too. Is that so? Gah. Now, let's keep going. Yeah, so it's kind of a luck-based fight, but you can easily make the luck in your favor. You're... You did well to make it this far. Did you enjoy my hallucinations? So this is, was your handiwork, huh? That means this one was the right one. Hehe, <laughs> correct. The other group's got me worried now. You're not, uh, you're not in a position to worry about others now. You all will now be victims of my Daomaku. Your surprise choices aren't anything to be afraid of. If you're going to interfere, we'll toss you aside. You're not su they're not suppositories! Jeez. I'll test whether your walk matches your big talk, then. I shall not let you reach my master. Alright, we're fighting Odonj, also known as Ryson. Now, despite the fact she says they're not suppositories, if you actually look up her um, entry in the encyclopedia in this game, her uh, weapon of cho the the weapon that she t it says she's equipped with is suppository Damaku. So there's that. All right. So adding commander bombs we can mess around with. All right. Let's make sure everyone goes first. Why not? As for you, I want to do uh, honest man's death. You you're gonna go ahead and do dual raid. You're gonna go into a Sura stance. Oh, I should have took in that crit buff. Oh well, not a big deal. As for you, we're gonna go ahead and do raise physical attack. On uh, Sak- well actually, yeah, Sakia. As for you... Not much you can do. 
Uh, this boss is resistant to holy, but whatever. But is this thing actually classified as a beast? Zero fighter. 28 damage to Sorter Eye, 25 damage to Dispel. Okay, Dispel's buffs. Oh, Udonch is considered a beast, so that dagger is actually doing Slayer. That's awesome. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Keep doing dual raid. As for you... This is two bombs. Oh, I can't raise physical attack at this round. Okay, don't do that then. We'll do a Might Sword instead. And we'll go ahead and raise... Uh, resistance. Why not? Can't do that. There's not much really we can do. At least not with her. Thousand damage. Perfect resist. Alright, poisoned. Mind explosion. That was an AoE. Okay, that was some heavy hits. So let's go ahead and uh, paparazzi again. We'll attack, you'll do a raid. You're gonna do your biggest attack now. No, you're not, so you're not gonna do your biggest attack yet. Do that attack. Increase your M to attack on Satori, and Satori, you're gonna heal everybody. There we go. Oh, last word, nice. There we go, everyone's healed. Illusion Seeker, 24 damage. Weakness, no effect. Yeah, uh, Ryzen does a lot of status effects and uh, debuffs. Alright. And she's practically dead at this point, so... I guess, I'd, I guess I'll just end it with my biggest attack. I was gonna wait until I got buffed before using this move, but I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Since I had Slayer Daggers already. We're gonna do, uh, f this is Flying Fantastica. Increases experience reward and drop rates, so might as well use it. And here you can do Samadar Slash, it doesn't really matter. Okay, increased by 170. Okay. So, not too bad. That exp mind explosion kind of hurt, though. So, yeah, we gained. The base experience was 270, but everyone got 461 instead, which is pretty good. So, yeah. Leveled up, leveled up. Gah. We've won. We're going on now. Unfortunately for you... Let's see. Unfortunately for you, even if you defeat me, this hallucination won't end. You shall not reach where the princess and master is. Grr, grr. The hallucination won't end. This has gotten annoying again. What happened? The barrier just trembled a bit. The barrier itself is still around, but there's a hole in it now. Because we defeated Ryzen, perhaps? Seems like it. And she said we wouldn't be able to get there. How foolish. Let's keep going through that hole. Red pupil gained. Heart of Inte, stage 10. You all. Looks like we've both, uh, got through safely. Yeah, more or less. Ryzen attacked us and got what was coming. You all too? We met Tiwi instead. Amy got us separately when our power was, when our power was divided like that. Looks like Kaguya's group has finally taken this seriously. Seems so. It's fine as long as they just send out rabbits. But if Inaran and Kaguya join the fray, things might get to get dangerous. Anyway, since we've defeated the rabbits, that means only Kaguya and Inaran are left. Let's get them. Yes. So. We're now- everyone's together again. We can hit this switch now. Which will take us all the way back to the beginning. Right here. Not a big deal. 
Also, you can't exit from here. If you tr- Because it leads back to the- due to the group stuff. So, if you want to get through back to the stage 9, you have to take the teleporter. Or enter from, you know, outside world and stuff like that. Not a big deal. Alright. Party. Time to do some changes. We're gonna take Moko, Sakya, Yomu, Pacholi, Satori, and... It doesn't really matter who we take at this point. We'll take Aya. There you go. And everyone should be up and running. Uh, we're not at full MP, but that's fine. Just head straight up. Elegant guard. Alright, uh... Reduces all basic elements by 25%. That's what it means by it reduces it to 75%. It means they're taking 25% off. Oh, but, okay, so instead of bunnies, we now have these... Well, we, we still have bunnies, but they're bunny people. Alright, we got Glow Ninjas and Inabuzz. All of them are annoying. That's all I remember, to be honest. I believe they have high evasion. And instant death. See, this is why I don't I don't hold back on instant death, because they're gonna throw it right back at me. Alright. This isn't working too well. And I forgot to change my elements. I forgot to change my skills back. Paralyzed? It'll be easy enough to fix, I just need to make sure I do it. Alright, skills, patch only, summer flame, earth and spear, spring wind. Yeah, you got these weird people with bunny masks. Alright. Try this again. Smoke bombs, they can cause blindness. Luckily the poison that he applied on Moko overlapped the blindness, so that's why she was able to attack. And the poison didn't do any damage because it um well it did damage, but my healing out my healing per turn outdid it because I switched the element to fire. Okay, I don't want to go this way actually. There's one other path I want to take. Yeah. Oh, these guys. Alright. We have lycanthropes and moon races. Uh, the moon race are very, very evil. Um, they have two spells. Well, they have a few spells, but um, I believe. There's two of them that Satori can learn. One of them is literally a time stop ability. It literally will stop all time for the opponent. It used to be a very overpowered move until they practically made it useless against enemies. So it's pretty much designed to kill players. But I'll still try to learn it whenever I can, but for right now I don't think I'm high enough level. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and attack Moon Race. Moon Race. Master's Dance. Fire. And some death. Hell Claw Assassination. Innervation deep lowers all stats. It's very annoying. Alright, well, did some damage. Oh, the Asura stance cancelled out the, uh, the debuff, but it didn't do anything else. Very annoying. Alright, Mind Blast again. Paralyzed. Much better. You notice that the spell did a lot less damage. Oh great, time stop. It does damage and it, it um, stops time. And it lasts forever. Uh, okay, by forever I mean two turns. But still, it um, can be reapplied is the big issue. So if she wanted to, she could have just kept spamming time stop. Thankfully she has poisoned, so that didn't happen. Um, unfortunately we didn't learn the skill because I don't think we're high enough level. 
Alright, so you can see that the difficulty has just suddenly jumped up uh, quite a bit. Uh, no formation. What we need... Get rid of that. Someone has meaning to instant death. Who was it? Was it Raymu? No. Not you. You do. You go ahead and take that off right now, Alice, and you equip the charismatic ghost band. That should help a little bit. So yeah, this is a dead end. That's why I kind of wanted to show this room. Alright, the lesser demons. They have a few spells I can learn. Other than that, they're just... They're demons. What do you expect? Do raid, attack. I'm just gonna royal flare them. Poisoned. And dead. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. Yep, nothing here. Alright, so that's what I wanted to show off. Those are the first couple of rooms. But I'm out of time, so let's go ahead and call this video. I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Genius of Sephiroth's Weekend. When we come back, I will start going through stage 10. So until then, see you guys.